All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add a color theme or vibe to your Discord window. Normally, this would have been previously like labeled as a how to enable dark mode or night mode in Discord, but now you get a whole bunch of other colors that you can select from if you pay for Discord Nitro. So you pop into your user settings in the lower left hand corner, click the gear, and then you go down to, oh, what do they call it now? It's like your appearance for the app. And this is where you can pick a default theme for your Discord window. And you can even click preview themes. So by default, this is what you get. It's Discord, it's bright, it's glaring, and it kind of eats your soul a little bit. And then you can go for like more of like a neutral gray, not too dark, not too bright. Then there's dark, which not very black. It's almost like muddy black. And then you've got onyx where it's all pure black. And those are kind of like the default ones that you get when you don't pay for Discord Nitro. However, if you do pay for Discord Nitro, you get access to things like this is the one I normally use. It's like a blend between blue to purple but you can also get like a nice sunset if you're somebody who likes long sunset walks on the beach you can also go with the aurora that way things kind of have that weird green look like you dunk yourself into a pool filled with algae you've also got like some pastels hanami or sunrise where they play do 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 uh, you got sherbet ice cream, like citrus sherbet, retro rain cloud. I mean, there's a lot of really fun ones that they've got for another perk that you get when you have Discord Nitro. And that's really it. I mean, I, I had been rocking the Chroma Glow, but I'm feeling Blurple Twilight. Who doesn't love Blurple Berry? So I've got that selected. And the other thing that you can pick if you have Discord Nitro is you can change what the icon looks like on your desktop. Uh, right now I'm using the default one, which is just their, actually no, I'm using the Prismatic Waves one, but it doesn't show up in my icon in my taskbar. It only shows up on my desktop and on my phone. So that's funny. Um, and then the last couple ones down here are the UI appeal. So you can make it look compact, which makes everything kind of smooshed together, and you can preview it up here. You can go with default, which is kind of everything's okay spaced, or you can have spacious because you're getting old man eyes like Larry, and you want to boost the size of your font a little bit. Uh, so these are really things like how close together do you want everything do you want to adjust uh, message spacing to be more compact do you want to increase the space between different messages because everything sent in a single and uh, message when you hit the enter key is considered its own little block of text you can also adjust the scaling you can increase the font size you can zoom discord i bet you didn't know this but discord's basically just a big web browser if you hit control and then you hit the bracket keys underneath of plus and minus, or actually if you just hit plus or minus, I should say, not the bracket keys, it'll actually zoom in or out like you're zooming in or out on a web browser, on Google or on Chrome or Internet Explorer or Firefox. It works the exact same way. You hit control plus or minus. So you can manually control it with a little toggle draggable, the zoom level. You can change the time format. Currently, because I have my system clock set to 12 hour, it also does 12 hour, but you can force it into 24 hour mode too, if you'd like. And then at the very top, this is supposed to be a preview that shows you what your Discord's gonna look like when you hit save. It's kind of difficult to use that when it's at the very top and all your important settings that visually change things are at the bottom, but it is what it is. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been how to change the appearance of your Discord uh, app window. 
to activate dark mode or color themes. I hope you found this helpful. I'm your host, Larry. Don't forget to do the like, subscribe thing, and I'll catch you later. Bye.